Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today, in this video, I'm going to be giving my review for Megan Fox and Till Death. This one, I'll be honest, I'm not some huge Megan Fox fan. So, when I saw the previews for this, I um, wasn't necessarily excited for it, um, but I still wanted to see it. So, Checked it out. This is from Screen Media. 88 minutes. Very short watch. Um, I actually enjoyed this film pretty well. I think Megan Fox's performance was decent. I don't think she was... It obviously wasn't anything award-worthy, but she done pretty good in it. Um, our two villains who are um, brothers... Um, uh, they both do very well. You kind of have one that's more nicer. He's just there for the money and to crack open the safe. And he doesn't want a lot of violence. And then you got the one that's the violent one. Um, this was a surprise for me. Uh, basically, this movie, the husband, it opens up with Megan Fox. We found out that she's cheating on her husband. And it's for a good reason. Her husband is not a nice guy. And he ends up on their anniversary taking her out to this, um, he gets her a necklace. They go out to this cabin, and it's supposed to be this romantic getaway. And the next morning after they have the romantic night, um, he, she wakes up. She finds herself handcuffed to him, and he blows his brains out, and leaves her alive handcuffed to him. He has called or messaged her secret, you know, boyfriend, who is also his, one of his partners at work, and to come. So he can see and I think honestly possibly be killed because um, he does end up getting killed. And he actually brings the, the brothers he brings. The one brother is actually somebody that Megan Fox has already dealt with in the past that's attacked her and she's actually messed up his eye. Um, so they have history and he's wanting revenge on her so not only is he able to get his supposed to be getting his revenge but he's supposed to be getting some money um and i guess the guy we find out that the husband blew his brains out because his career was going down the tubes he was getting he was getting caught and investigated might as well say caught for illegal activity he was doing um, so he was wanting to take him, her, and everybody, and, you know, down with him. Um, I'm glad they don't have her dragging his dead body around through this entire movie. That was my one point I was kind of worried about, was the fact that, because I, it was very unbelievable that she'd be able to drag his body all around. Um, there was a couple of things that... I kind of was like, hmm, uh, you know, why didn't they do this? Uh, there's a scene where they need, he possibly need his, um, I want to say it's his finger for, um, to get in to the safe. Uh, why they just didn't cut off a finger of his and take it in there? You see it in other movies done. I don't know. They decided to drag the guy's whole body into the house. Um, on top of that, I think, if I ain't mistaken, she had cut off, she'd finally cut off his hand to get the handcuff off of him because she couldn't break open the handcuff because she had nothing to pick the handcuff with because he got rid of all the sharp stuff so she couldn't pick the lock. Uh, so she ends up, I think, cutting his hand off and while in the shed so why they just didn't take the hand and that not the I, I don't know I really don't know that left me kind of puzzled 
Um, and then, uh, oh, there's something else. What was it? Oh, when, oh no, that's a different movie, different movie. I'm getting, I'm, uh, there's people, she's handcuffed in this, and there's, they're handcuffed in Survive the Night, and I'm getting them mixed up. I'm <laughs> um, getting my handcuff situations mixed up. <laughs> well, because in Survive the Night, he's hand Chad Michael Murray's handcuffed to a table. So I'm sitting there wondering why won't he just flip the table over to get the handcuff off the table's leg. Mm -hmm. Instead of trying to break the handcuff off the table. But, so, I was thinking that was in this movie, but no. Um, uh, the ending, you know, I thought the ending was... Uh, really good. Um, the <clears throat> him having to him basically, she basically drowns the guy. There is a lot of good gore. There's some decent gore in this. Um, there's a scene where she stabs him in the his good eye, if you will say. Um, and of course, the scene where he shoots himself in the head is pretty gory. Um, so, you know, for, this film was decently, decent on the gore. Um, I will say, I felt the first 10 or so minutes, maybe 20 minutes of this was a little slow. It, it picks up more once you get to when they're actually at the cabin or whatever it is, the house in the, in the middle of nowhere, <laughs> the getaway place. It picks up, but... Before that, it was a little slow. There wasn't a whole lot that it needed to build on. So, because you kind of find more out. You find the most out, actually, when they're at the house, at the cabin or whatever. Um, so, there really wasn't a whole lot that needed to be built on before they get, got there. Um, pretty much all you, all the beginning was, was just telling you, let you know she was cheating and her getting the necklace. That's the that's the only point for the first first ten to twenty minutes, um, and I guess the fact that he was a a hole. Um, that's all that really set up. Everything else comes once they get to the actual place. So um, I gave this movie surprisingly a uh, three out of five on three out of five. Uh, I could probably push it to three and a half. Um, I don't know if I'd go higher than that. I'll see on a rewatch how I feel. But this definitely makes my shelf. It's going to go down here. Um, I'll probably try to pull some and take it upstairs. Whatever I put down here from this pile. Sort of counterbalance the, the load down here. But... Um, but yeah, I definitely, surprisingly, enjoyed this one. Um, I still prefer her and Jennifer's body, but, um, you know, this wasn't horrible. So, I would definitely say check it out if you're not. Um, this, is this a 2021 film? Yeah, this is a 2021 film. I don't know if it would be in my best of. But it's definitely not going to be in my worst of 2021. So it kind of fell right there in the middle. Right where, you know, that three, three and a half would be. So, but that is everything I have to say about this. You know, check it out. Scene cinematography is great. Acting is pretty good. Um, all that jazz. I think I've said everything. So, so please comment, like, and subscribe. Hit the bell to be notified for our videos. And we'll see you all in the next one.